Not many conflicts that I've been involved in where it's been all one party's fault. So it's about both parties seeing their contribution and owning that part. Whereas blame is more about judging, it's very one way, and it's sort of looking backwards rather than looking forwards. How to start that difficult conversation. And the funny thing is most people will fall into a trap when they first recall problems of leaving feelings out. Number one is that they are going to leak into the conversation. <laughs> the second one is they're gonna burst into the conversation. Hello, <laughs> hello anger, <laughs> or hello shut down. They're gonna take over and over. So I got my Where's Wally back on, woohoo. <laughs> Now I got my sort of ready pink on because we're looking at challenges and I have some fabulous techniques to deal with almost every challenge you'll meet in a difficult conversation. <laughs> Doing the poo at the start if you know you're gonna deal with challenges, that's called Chino. And I love this, I use it as a mediator and it's just as useful in a difficult conversation. Reframing the issues so the parties will talk about Some issues. Of it. So we've got empathy on this axis. We've got this line here in the middle, which is the, the line we want to get a balance of empathy with what? Do that, it changes the dynamic between you and the other. The other day that I really liked is from Brene Brown, social worker, pretty famous. And <laughs> she says to herself, when she approaches someone where they've had an impact on her, she says, look, the story I'm telling myself about, as the new manager, why it may be challenging for you to have this conversation is because of the identity aspects. So you might wanna be seen as a competent manager, you're able to be assertive, put in boundaries with staff. The question is, what sort of mindset do we need to bring to difficult conversations? We are now looking at the model and I'm gonna do a demo. So, so let's have a look at the model and it has five steps. One has sort of four components to it and the first one is preparation. So it's really being clear on your issues, what are your concerns and trying to go in emotionally centered. I wanna do a demo now so I'm gonna throw me into another space and you're gonna see a demo shortly. Here we go. Uh, look, Sam, thanks for joining us. Um, look, it's a little bit tricky. I, I, there's just something that I noticed the other day and um, I just wanted to raise it with you and I guess get your perspective. I just want to understand where, what you were thinking, what was going on. But look, what I noticed the other day is that when you went out for lunch, you sort of asked everyone to come to lunch. And the best thing about this is that not only in the office and the workplace you can use this model, you can use it personally as well. Who's got teenagers? In your personal life, you had a neighbor who was constantly loud. Music, noise, up all hours. Obviously, that's gonna have an impact. Congratulations on completing the six modules. Well done, you are now a difficult conversation champion. Woohoo! Till next time, enjoy your conflict. <laughs>